I'm Sylvan Kaufman, and I'm at Adkins Arboretum today in Ridgely, Maryland. Today, I want to introduce you to the Mayapple, Podophyllum peltatum. Down in the shady woodland where fern fronds are uncurled, a host of green umbrellas are swiftly now unfurled. Do they shelter fairy people from sudden pelting showers, or are the leaves but sunshades to shield the waxen flowers? That was a poem by Minnie Curtis Waite, written in 1901, entitled Mandrakes. Mandrakes in North America are another common name for mayapples. Their umbrella-shaped leaves are pretty unmistakable. In Maryland, they begin to poke out of the ground as a furled umbrella in mid-April before the trees have leafed out. They sometimes start out mottled with purple, becoming green as spring progresses. The leaves are peltate, meaning shield-shaped, they can have up to nine lobes and can be up to 12 inches in diameter on stems 12 to 18 inches high. The name podophyllum means a foot-shaped leaf, also referring to the shape of the leaf. Sometimes it has the common name of duck's foot. Personally, I think the single leaves look most like an umbrella, but plants with two leaves could bear some resemblance to a pair of webbed feet. You most often find may apples in deciduous forest with rich soils, but they also grow in sun. They leaf out before the trees to take advantage of the spring sunlight. Colonies grow slowly, about four to six inches per year, often mainly through the spread of rhizomes, meaning that every plant in a colony could really be one individual. A large colony could be a hundred years old. Long used by Native Americans and early settlers as a medicine, May apples contain a potent anti-cancer agent called podophyllotoxin, a type of lignin. The plant uses it to keep away would-be herbivores, but people now harvest the roots of the mayapple to collect the toxin. Its derivatives are used to make several anti-cancer compounds. Other derivatives are being tested for treatment of psoriasis, malaria, and rheumatoid arthritis. Several other species of plants also produce phylo podophyllotoxins in lower concentrations, including Juniperus virginiana, red cedar. May apples remain as juvenile plants, just producing leaves for a minimum of four and sometimes for up to 12 years. Each year, the rhizome expands in length and produces more buds. Mature plants put out two leaves that branch out from a common stem. The single flower is found at the junction between the two leaves. Each flower is protected by sepals shed as the flower opens. The flowers usually have six white waxy petals, but can have up to nine petals. They have two sturdy stamens per petal with yellow anthers. They do not offer a reward of nectar, but their sweet, somewhat musky smell and lots of pollen attracts bees and bumblebees. Often, few pollinators visit and fruits do not mature. In some studies, if a stand of a different species of flowering plant that is highly attractive to bumblebees is located near a mayapple colony, that colony will have better pollination. The fruits ripen during the summer months and can be found lying among the decaying leaves of a patch of mayapple. The ripe fruit look a little like a small, smooth-skinned, pale yellow lemon. Yule Gibbons, in Stalking the Wild Asparagus, says of the flavor, The flavor of the ripe mayapple, while agreeable to most people, is not easily described. It has been compared to the flavor of the strawberry, but I fail to see the resemblance. When I eat a thoroughly ripe mayapple, I am reminded of several tropical fruits, the guava, the passion fruit, and the soursop, but I can't honestly say that it tastes like any of them. He goes on to recommend the fruit for adding to lemonade and for making marmalade. James Whitcomb Riley described how to eat the fruit in his Rhymes of Childhood. And will any poet sing of a lusher, richer thing than a ripe may apple rolled like a pulpy lump of gold under thumb and fingertips and poured molten through the lips? Each fruit contains 30 to 50 seeds, which are also poisonous. So take care to only eat the mayapple pulp, as described in the poem. The fruits are a favorite fruit of box turtles, and seeds have higher germination rates when they pass through a box turtle's gut. Other animals that eat the fruit include raccoons, opossums, and skunks. Often older leaves will develop orange patches or freckles caused by a rust fungus, 
whose only host plant is the May apple, Alidus podophylli. The rust fungus seems to do little harm to the overall health of the May apple colony. May apples are part of the Berberidaceae family, a family better known for shrubs like barberry and mahonia. Other herbaceous plants in the family include blue cohosh and epimedium. There are 17 species worldwide in the genus Podophyllum, but only P. peltatum is native to North America, and it ranges from Canada south to Florida. You can eat fairly easily cultivate your own May apple colony or find a wild population to enjoy at a local park. Look under the leaves for flowers, fruits, box turtles, or maybe even fairies. Thank you.